This next story is a great example of truth being stranger than fiction. Akron City Hall was evacuated this morning after a strange pipe was found on the third floor. Workers feared it could be a bomb. It wasn't, but get this. It was accidentally left there by a man with the last name of Kaboom. <laughs> News Channel 5 reporter Bob Jones is live in Akron tonight. Bob, Mr. <laughs> Kaboom caused quite a stir there. Oh, that's right, Lee. This is just a bizarre story all the way around. It turns out that all the fuss at Akron City Hall this morning was over something that Mr. Kaboom uses as a walking stick. Now, we have some video of that walking stick, which is actually a metal shower curtain rod. It's duct taped on each side, and on it, you can see the words, this is not a weapon, but you can also see the word kaboom. So you can understand why it caused concern when it was found on the third floor outside of Akron City Council Chambers this morning. Fearing the potential of a bomb, city workers were evacuated, but police found the 66-year-old owner who goes by the names Natural Hunka Kaboom or James Kaboom. He said he mistakenly left the walking stick at City Hall and planned to pick it up the next week. We went to his house where the word kaboom is written in several spots on the house. Neighbors call the whole situation very odd, but say the city couldn't take any chances today. If you got a, 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 a pipe with a, with say, kaboom on it, I'd be nervous too in front of City Hall. They're supposed to be. No charges at this point. Uh, our officers did talk to him. He said it was a walking stick. It didn't appear there was any intent to create a panic or any uh, hysteria at the City Hall. Mr. Kaboom wasn't at his home in the North Hill Acre neighborhood when we stopped by this afternoon. But one thing is for certain, his walking stick sure caused a stir this morning. Live in Akron tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.